10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, RS-68A engine ignition, 1, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket. The Delta IV RS-68A engine and four solid rocket motors, or SRMs, ignite to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 34 seconds. The SRMs burn out 1 minute 33 seconds into flight. Seven seconds later, the first two SRMs are jettisoned, followed by the remaining two SRMs. During ascent, WGS-10 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. At approximately 3 minutes 19 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is burning propellant at a rate of 991 pounds per second, located 109 miles in altitude and 229 miles downrange. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 9% of what it did at liftoff. At 4 minutes 15 seconds, the second stage main engine ignites. The second stage and WGS satellite are now in the first burn. This burn will last a little more than 15 minutes. 19 and a half minutes into flight, cut off of the main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a 10-minute coast phase. Nearly 30 minutes after liftoff, the engine is restarted for a 3 minute 20 second burn. Approximately three and a half minutes later, the second engine cutoff occurs. At 36 minutes 50 seconds, the second stage releases the wideband global SATCOM satellite for the United States Air Force. <laughs>